All right, I've got the, uh, the lower panel clamped in place where I want it, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the edge here to, to, for my guideline to make my cut. I'm going to have to, I'm going to go ahead and cut all of this and then I'll take this piece off and then I'll come back and cut the rear part here. Uh, as I've been thinking about this, the rear, I'm not going to completely finish that off right now because I'll be able to still bolt the center section in in the back, but I don't know exactly where I'm going to want the body to sit on the frame. So I'm going to just bolt that center section in and I'm going to leave it as is um, at this point so then I can come back later on and I can finish that wherever it needs to be to channel it down over the frame or I don't know if I'll have it sitting, sitting up flush on the frame, um, but that way if I need to run anything for the uh, drive shaft or any type of tunnel or whatever, I'll be able to, to do all of that at that point. So, uh, so that's the plan right now. I'll go ahead and make this cut uh, the full length and then unclamp this piece, come back and take the rest, uh, take the rest of this off and I'm just going to eyeball that. So that piece is off. Come back now.
think I'm going to need some more trimming back here yet, but let's see how this how this piece looks. Okay, I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this for for right now, just uh, like that. I'll go ahead and get this uh, cleaned up and get my patch panel clamped into place, and then I've got. I'll have some room back here. Um, I'll probably end up cutting this cutting this panel off here because uh, that's gonna need some more shaping for another another piece to fit in there. So I think that's uh, that's the plan at this point. All right, so I just stopped here real quick to grab a video. So I've got the patch panel in place. And I ended up having to cut, I just cut an angle here so I can get that to fit down in like it's supposed to. My gap is pretty wide right here, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit of massaging as I come around with that. I got a big gap right in there and that's because the way I cut it with that blue wheel I'm going to do the other one with the body saw instead see what I did here is when I got to the this side I realized that that body that the uh, blue wheel wasn't working so I just went ahead and I cut more of an angle onto here and that gave me a little better gap there so these these gaps here I'll be able to pull in a little bit this one back here I might have to uh, back that up with a little bit of sheet metal, which is fine. With this, I have access to the back side, so if I need to do anything, I can get in there. And if I use some metal that's no thicker than the, than the patch panel and the body side, I still should be able to do a little bit of English wheeling or body work if I have to with the hammer and the dolly. It'll be a little thick, but I think that'll work out okay. It's looking good. This looks nice and straight up here. So I'm going to keep uh, keep welding and pulling that gap in. All right, so there's that bottom piece rough tacked into place. I worked on pulling those gaps in, and I got them a little bit, but. What I ended up doing was putting some some backing metal in there, so um, I'll probably go in and hit these here with a with a grinding wheel, and then probably just reinforce that because that's that's a pretty good gap there. I'm an eighth of an inch in a couple of spots, and maybe even more right here. So. Um, Back here, it's looking pretty good. So that's uh, that's this side roughed out. I'll start working on the the other side. <laughs> 